and welcome to 151 Garage. I'm Jill. Diesel's up on the porch and Sean's at work. So today we are going to work on Ben. And what we're going to be doing today is do the floor scan for recalculating the tire size for the Speedo. So it's like a speedometer recalibration, I guess you can say. So we increased the size of his tires to those big old honkers. And those are the same size as the ones that come on a stock Sasquatch. So the original tires that he had, by he I mean Big Bend here, was a 255-75-17. So in millimeters, it says 2,558 millimeters. Well, there's two ways that you can do this. You can get the size off your tires and use that and plug it in that way. Or you can take that and put a string around it and get the circumference that way. And that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a piece of string. And we're going to go all the way around a circle here. And that's gonna give me the circumference of this wheel. Okay. So how we're gonna do this, I'm gonna put this pink tape all the way around it. So you wanna make sure that you're not in the tread gap itself. You wanna make sure that you're on the actual rubber of the tire. So you're gonna lay it, you know, like right on top, not inside the tread. Then you're gonna secure the first part of the string with the tape and you wanna go past the end of your string so you have about that much left and I'll show you what we're doing I can find the end of this all right so I'm just gonna use the third brake light for a brace you want to be able to see the end of the uh, the string so when you wrap it around so let me all right so you see how much i have right here this is where we're going to is the end of that all right so i know it's probably been a long time for some of you guys to be in school so let me explain the circle Okay, so what we just measured is the circumference. This is what you want is all the way around. The diameter is from side to side. The radius is from the middle to the end. That's the difference. So just to refresh your course on that. So once you get it to the end of your string here, you're gonna cut it right at that end. So you don't want to pull it like where it's tight because you're going to get an inaccurate reading. You just want to make sure that it's snug. Cut it, let it fall. So again, you don't want to like stretch it. You just want to lay it straight as possible. What you do, you're going to pull it straight. You're not going to like stretch it out you just want it as straight as you possibly can you're going to leave each end open like you did before sorry i'm just trying to get you guys the most accurate reading that's why i'm doing this the way that i'm doing it's actually 107 and three quarters inches so 107.75 inches how do you get that into millimeters? So the circumference of these wheels are 107 and three quarter inches. The floor scan is asking for millimeters. So now you gotta convert inches to millimeters. Now, if you remember our school days, that was a pain in the butt because we didn't have Google back then. So we have Google now. So for all you newbie school kids you're so lucky and so blessed you have no idea you're gonna go to your trusty iphone or whatever phone you got go to google.com 
if you don't have it already as your default. And you're going to go into the Google search bar and you're going to put inches to millimeter. This tire in millimeters is 2,736.85. I don't know exactly how specific I have to be on millimeters for this tire thing to work, so we shall see. I keep forgetting where the window switches are because I'm used to having them on the door. All right. We're gonna use the, uh, the four scan one without the switch. So you can do this with the switch, you're just gonna have to follow the prompts, okay? But we're gonna do this without the switch. Now I will be doing all the screenshots and everything gonna be a step-by-step -step guide. As we do all our four scan videos, we will link the entire playlist down below. We will keep this separate for all the other operations as well. So again, if you want to plug this in down here, make sure it's all good and snug. Plug this in to the computer or tablet or whatever you got. So obviously you wanna go into uh, your Forescan and you wanna connect the vehicle. All right, so do you have all the drivers and stuff on the computer that it's reading? So it automatically switched from medium speed to high speed to HS and MS. That's the beauty of having a reader without a switch. It's already built in. So you want to go to configuration and programming. Okay, so once you get into the configuration, you push play, it does a thing. You go into the search, you can go up and log and I'll do all that, but that's not where you need. You just need to do a search on it. So on your filter, you just hit higher and it'll bring this up. I already have a screenshot of this. The way it's reading right now, it says number of tires, four, because it's not counting the spare. The tire circumference in millimeters is 2475, which is different by 83 millimeters than what Sean did on the tire calculator which is 2,558 millimeters. So 83 millimeters, that's a big difference. And then you have the tire pressure monitor that's enabled. So that's important. You're gonna double tap on the tire circumference millimeter and then we're gonna change the value. what we did with the measurements, two, seven, three, six. Actually, you know what, we're gonna go it that way. Sorry, two, seven, three, seven. That's how many in inches. This is the millimeter. So I just rounded it up because it says 2736.85. Well, I'm gonna put 2737 and just see. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go down to right. You're gonna have a window that pops up. Are you sure you wanna change this millimeter to old value into the new value? If you're confident in doing it, then the answer would be yes. Hit the check mark. Let us do its thing. You're gonna hear a lot of ding, 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 ding. You gotta cycle the engine because we just wrote everything on it. When you see the screen, the program has been successful because you hear all the clicking noise in the car and it says, please cycle the ignition off and then back on. Do not hit the okay button until the car has been turned off. We're gonna do that now. Wait until everything turns off and it's completely quiet. Cycle it back up again. Hit okay. 
Okay, so when Sean gets home, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing for a test drive. We'll see how the speedometer does according to his uh, GPS speedo calculator thing that he's got going on on his phone. And we'll let you know if it's close or not. When we first did it before we did any kind of modifications with this, it was four miles an hour off. So it was saying that it was 74 miles an hour when he was actually doing 70. So I want to see if putting the correct millimeter on here according to a physical measurement and not some calculated thing on the computer. I want to see if that's accurate. We'll bring it back then. So Jill here has gone through the four scan stuff and we did a couple test drives. The first one was the original setup and it was the tire size calculator. And when we put that up there, it was 66 point six miles, six an, hour. miles an hour, <laughs> which was not going to happen. It was instead of four miles an hour over, it was three and a half miles under uh, speed limit. So. Uh, we wanted to tweak that a little bit. So we were able to get a vehicle that had a Sasquatch package. And we actually were able to look at the, the uh, data from that one in the Sasquatch package, the, cal the calibration or the calculation is 2653. Yeah, 2653 is the number that they put on for the Sasquatch package. Now our tires are the same size, 13, uh, Wow, 13. 315, <laughs> 70, 17. And that put us right at 68.9, which is. Which is just over a mile under. And with the calculation from the very first run to the very, uh, very last run, we came up with the number 26, 18. 18 to actually make it 70 miles an hour, plus or minus a couple. You know, we haven't changed it yet, but that's we pretty might, close. That's pretty we close. We might just leave it. We don't know yet. If we do change it, I'll let you know. We'll do a little tiny video for that. But if we don't change it, well, we ain't getting nothing At video. 70 miles an hour, <laughs> you're not going to know any difference, especially when you're doing a little, yeah, you're going 70 miles an hour. We'll just leave it at that. That's what I did on the way home, all the way, 70 miles an hour. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Jill actually did all this minus the last portion of it. So I wanted to be kind of part of it to help her out, to be at least useful in the video for something other than just a pretty face. <laughs> useful in the video? Uh, why is that so funny? I'm not useful in the video? No. Wow. I thought you said that about me. No, me. Oh. <laughs> I haven't done anything in the video except for, hi, my name's Sean. You did a great job driving. But that wasn't on video. He did a great job driving. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. She's gonna do more videos by herself now and Yeah, because I'm doing YouTube full time and yeah. I promise one of these days I'll give you a little video of why I'm doing YouTube full time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a story behind it. Not yeah, an exciting and story, we'll, but a story. We'll get into that at a later video, uh, probably a separate video, just of why she chose to do that. It is, it is something that makes me a little bit more relaxed and relieved because I don't have to worry about her and her health. Um, we really got to watch out for her. Even though she's in remission, we still have to worry about her immune system and we still have to worry about uh, you know, her health and stuff like that. I don't want her to get sick again. That scared me, especially the temperature, uh, temperatures that she was running. I didn't like that. Uh, yeah, but, for four days I was running temperatures, so it was pretty wild. Yeah. Um, being in remission is different than being deemed cancer free. In remission, you have to go five years before you're deemed cancer free. I'm going to be on number three this year. Yeah, and she's actually 
still taking medication and stuff like that, which again, we want to make sure she's safe and I would rather work from home harder for me to work harder for her with the ability to stay home. So please, if anybody likes this, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All of it helps us please uh, share. With, with the algorithm and it helps her stay at home. And again, I plan on working a lot more hours than I did last year. If that's possible, uh, we won't get into that, but but please share this video and watch it a lot because views really help. <laughs> yeah, it does. Anyways, like again, uh, hope to see you next video. Bye. Bye. It could be like the end credit. <laughs> no, no, that's good. <laughs> I'm just like.